Hello. This demonstration shows how to create a dynamic station offset table in Civil 3D. And uh, to start, I need to jump over here into my settings and create a new user defined classification. I'll just call this my station offset classification. And then I'll add a couple of user defined properties to this classification. First one is be the station, and I'll use a string because, of course, it's got like you know, probably a station indicator in it and so forth, so we need it to be a string. And uh, similarly, we'll create an offset as a string. And now I need to assign that classification to a point group. And I actually already have a point group here that has all these points in it, but if I were to assign this new classification to this point group in the 2010 version of Civil 3D, it would crash. So um, hopefully that bug will be fixed in an upcoming service pack. But it seems to work fine if I add the new classification to the point group first, then add the points to the point group. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, let's just say these are a bunch of set monuments and maybe we want a table of our set monuments. So um, maybe here I will say my set monuments will be in the station offset classification. And I'll apply that. And uh, let's just include all these points. You know, this uh, table down here doesn't display my station and offset, so I'm just going to go in here and edit the style to make it display my station and offset. Add a couple more columns here. One for the station. One for the offset. And now down here, now that I added those new um, user-defined properties, they show up here in my list. So I'll just add the station to this one. And I'll add the offset to this one. And there's my new table style. So finally, the only thing left to do is to create my dynamic links here. So just use a select similar here to select all these points and uh, create some dynamic links. And let's say we want to go ahead and get the elevations from the surface here. So I'll select the surface as the master object. And oh, let's turn off this datum adjustment. So all the point elevations will be our surface elevation. And then let's go ahead and also set this so that we get the station and offset. Uh, I can select uh, my alignment here from these lists, or I can click in here and just come in here into the drawing and pick the alignment in the drawing. Uh, let's not change the point description. Let's leave the point descriptions the way they are and we'll change these UDPs. So I just need to come in here and specify which UDPs to change. And now I just go ahead and hit OK. And we have a dynamic station offset table where all these point elevations are coming from the surface. And we have the station and offset coming from the alignment. If I were to come in here and grab a point and drag it around and see the values in the table change. If I drag it off the surface, I lose that surface elevation. And uh, beyond the alignment, I lose the station and offset. Uh, if I want to change some of these here, I can just go in here and edit the dynamic link. So let's say we want to get the station for these points from uh, this alignment up here instead. Now you can see the uh, Points 5 and 6 are now getting their stationing from this other alignment way up here. And that's basically a uh, demonstration of how to create a dynamic station offset table in Civil 3D.